I probably don't even remember the first time I skied. I remember when I was like four or five, I would kneeboard with my dad and I would ride on my dad, my dad's lap while we kneeboarded. I think um, my dad kind of knew what competitive skiing was, but never really did it as a kid. When he saw that it was something I enjoyed doing, he took us to a tournament. I did really well and there was no one else there, so obviously I got a trophy. And as a like, you know, eight-year-old, that was really exciting. I have placed in the past at nationals Competing as an individual and as a team, I've placed fifth at nationals twice so in the like you know past ten years of skiing, but not collegiately because it's different. But I think it's more fun and more exciting to ski collegiately. We have almost ten skiers who have grown up competitively skiing, and so having that background is like vital, especially here in the Midwest when people don't even know how to get up on skis. Like I've known Dylan for a really long time and we've been in camps and stuff together, but the rest of them I've just kind of been acquainted with until now. As of now, Dylan's the best over men's overall skier. Last year, collegiate regionals, I also placed first in trick and first in overall. This is my slalom ski. The goal of slalom is to get the highest number of buoys. You pick a starting speed and a line length, and once you get to your top speed, then the line starts getting shorter. So each time you make the six buoys without falling or missing one or missing the gates, which are at the beginning and the end of the pass, then it gets more difficult. So I do toe tricks. So I have a special handle and I hold the rope with my foot. You have to do as many tricks as you can within 20 seconds without repeating one. They don't have to be in any certain order, but if you do a trick one direction, you can do the, it's called the reverse, and you can do it in the other direction. Like if I turn to the right backwards, and come to the, the front, then I have to go to the left. People score anywhere from 40 to like 6,000 points. Some people can't even score 600 points and Dylan can score 600 points with one trick. So, he's pretty good. There's just a rush from doing flips and trick or seeing how far you can fly off of a ramp. Jump is fun, it's probably the scariest. You're like going down the lake and you see it the whole way down as you're coming up to it and it's just this giant red object that you're going to go over and you definitely see your life flash before your eyes. So you start getting your skis on edge and gaining a lot of momentum as you go towards the ramp. They're all really dangerous. I know people that have broken their femurs trick skiing and like really hurt themselves and jump like there's lots of possible injuries. You're flying 100 feet off of a ramp and at that point the water's more like concrete than water because you're hitting it so hard. I definitely want it to be a part of my life still, but it'll definitely be a different, completely different aspect after college. I just want to keep doing it enough to where when I have a family someday, I can hopefully live on a lake. That would be awesome.